Life Audio. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Billy and the Goat, the show dedicated to helping you overcome life's challenges, overcoming anxiety, overcoming adversity. Please hit the subscribe button so we can stay in touch. Pardon my absence. Much has happened over the last couple months. And I'm back. So glad to be back. God is good. I wanted to share with you today a couple scriptures. Um, and share with you the fact that, as you already know, as many as you already know, how valuable, how much, how important it is to tell the truth, to be, to be truthful, to not just be a Christian, checking the box, going to church, going to Bible study, reading scripture, but more importantly, to be devout, be dedicated, honor your word. Don't just honor your word, honor his word, God's word. Scripture says, John chapter 8, verse 44 says, in particular, you are of your father, the devil, and the desires of your father you want to do. He was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own resources, for he is a liar and the father of it. I lived a lie for many years. I went to church. I went to church with my family, my wife at the time, my son. I had a position in the church. I went to Bible study. I read scripture. And the same time, I lived a lie. I was unfaithful, drank heavily, did drugs. I did. My behaviors were just uh, were ungodly. I was living a lie. Scripture also says in the book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 18, says, For the wrath of God is revealed. From heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who by their unrighteousness suppress the truth. I was doing exactly that. I was suppressing the truth. Unrighteously. I was suppressing the truth. And let me tell you how much fire dismay, awfulness, despair, pain I experienced because I lived a lie. It was awful. It was awful. I don't encourage that any body any of you experience that don't live a lie it's not worth it money drugs alcohol sex nothing nothing is worth the misery, pain, loss that I experienced. I was going left when I should have been going right. I was in the word, but I was not living the word. I was going to church, but I was not 
being godlike. Although I was going to church, I was still going left. It's amazing to me now to reflect and look back at where I was and the habits I used to have and the people that were around me and the people that I interacted with and the people that I should not have been in relationship with. Jesus also said, you serve me with your lips, but your heart is far from me. I was saying a whole lot. I was singing a whole lot. I was listening to Christian music. I was swaying in church, clapping my hands. I was saying one thing and doing the other. God knows. God knew my heart. God knows my heart. God knows your heart. So whatever you say is one thing. But to do it or not to do it is quite the other. The last thing we want to do as Christians is to say one thing and do and operate and behave the opposite way. I was saying right, but I was living left. Are you saying right and living left? If you are, stand by. Stand by. Scripture also says in 8 John verse 32, And ye should know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Now, let me just share this with you. You know, just because you tell the truth doesn't mean that everything is going to be hunky-dory and just joy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joy, and daffodils and <laughs> skipping through the flowers. And life is just going to be easy. You no, know, that's not how it works. That's not what's going to happen. That's not how my life is now that I am going right intentionally, faithfully. But the heat that I was under, the fire that I was that I, that I was under, that I was living for years, whew, it's gone. I'm at peace. That peace, that God, that God peace, that Godly peace, that Holy Spirit peace. That Jesus Christ peace, it's real. It's everything. I love it. Nothing like it. Nothing like it. It's irreplaceable. Only God can provide that peace. No alcohol, no drug, no pornographic movie. No person, no massage, no trip, no vacation, no raise, no football game, basketball game, sporting event. Nothing replaces his peace. Nothing replaces his peace. The fruits of the Spirit are real. Now granted, there are a couple of them that need more work than others, specifically self-control and patience are the probably two of the ones that stand out most for me that I've had to work on, that I'll continue to work on. But overall, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control. If we focus on those nine fruits of the Spirit and work on them daily, Life is different. Life is different. I implore you to work on those, ingrain, practice, instill those fruits of the Spirit into your everyday life. Don't go by what you see on social media. Don't go what you see out in traffic. Don't go by what you may 
hear from others or that you see in your office or home rather. Do as Jesus says, Jesus did, expects, preaches in the Bible, in scripture. I hope this was helpful to you. I was able to finalize and finish a book that I've been working on for, geez, four years. Free bodies and minds held captive. For many years, my body and my mind was held captive by Satan and other demons of the like. Not anymore. The first chapter is called the ledge. The first scripture of that chapter is Second Corinthians chapter 12 verse 9. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses so that Christ's power may rest on me. I tried to take my life, and thanks be to God, I failed. God said no. It just dawned on me recently that We can fail or try to, rather, try to take our life daily, ruin our lives daily by going left when we should be going right. How many times have we seen so-and-so and so-and-so ruin their career? by some kind of ungodly happening, whether it be a basketball player, football player, actor, actress, government official, that has certain suddenly just gone awry. How many times have we read in the newspapers, seen on social media, things just fell apart all of a sudden, just they're making all this money, have this lifestyle, have these cars, these things, these worldly things, but they have these bad habits, these satanic, sinful habits that are promoted in everyday life. In Satan's world, because you know this is what this is. This is Satan's world. This is the devil's world. This isn't. This is not God approved. Thank God, I am no longer of the world. I live in this world, but I am no longer of the world. And I encourage you, and I pray for you. Urge you sternfully to not be of the world. Just be in the world. We pray. Continue to go right. Just because, you know, with me, I, I did not succeed in attempting and trying to take my life, kill myself by jumping from a ledge, a three-story balcony in Ocean City, no, many years ago, but I could effectively still ruin my life, and so can you, and I urge you and implore you and pray for you not to. Don't go left, go right. Don't go left, go right. For your body, for your mind, that may, may be held captive, go with God. God is the way. God is the way. In Jesus' name. Pray for me, I'll pray for you. These are my parting words. 
It's not about the money. It's about the message. It's not about the world. It's about his word. Let that marinate. God bless. If you go to lifeaudio.com, you will find dozens of other faith-centered podcasts in their network. They've got shows about prayer, Bible study, parenting, and much, much more.